My beautiful friends, it's Amanda here, and today we're talking about some new products that just released from ColourPop. We have a brand new Mega palette, and we also have the re-release of the Blotted Lips. All of these products are currently available on the ColourPop site. Not sure if, when they'll be available at Ulta, but I will keep the description box updated for you, and if these pop up at Ulta, I'll try to remember to put that info in the description box for you as well. I did quickly check to see if codes were working on these new products. It's always kind of up in the air if codes are going to apply to new launches or not, and it looks like you can use affiliate codes on these products. I do have a code for 10% off. It's just my first name, Amanda. However, they've been doing a bunch of sales and promos, so just keep in mind that you usually cannot combine a coupon code with an existing sale or promo, so just keep an eye on your cart for that. I would rather have you get the best deal possible sometimes codes and sales can conflict, so just keep an eye on your cart totals. Let's start with this new Mega palette. This is the Gone Matte palette, and it is retail priced at $34. US We see the typical packaging for these Mega palettes, same size and shape as the previous releases, but when you look really close up at this one, it has this sort of stippled texture. It kind of reminds me of a like a popcorn ceiling if you know what that is or a stucco wall. It has this really cool texture to it. When we look at the back here all the shade names are pictured on the back of both the palette and the box. There are no eye safety warnings on this palette and like the other mega palettes, there's no mirror inside, so when you open up in here, it's just the heavy-duty cardboard packaging. There is a magnetic closure, and then you see all 30 shades laid out in color-coordinating columns here. I like that they've switched over to the shinier background. It's not great for the ring light, but it is a lot easier to keep clean. The inside of my Bare Necessities palette is wrecked. I do want to point out that these shades seem to be laid out in columns, and I think this is very user-friendly. It's also how I'm going to swatch them in these color groups. So we have some warm neutrals, a little pinky row, a more mauve purpley row, and then some definite grays there on the end. And of course, all the shade names are inside next to the pans. I want to show you some swatches of this palette. I decided to break it up in columns. So I swatched these 10 at a time, so two columns at a time. I really think this is laid out in columns and meant to be grouped in colors that way, so that's why I swatched it this way. I'm going to show you three different groups of 10 swatches. Finger swatches are on top, brush swatches are below. No primer, no dampened brushes or anything, just these shadows straight onto my skin. So let's take a close-up look at these Gone Matte swatches now. I do want to point out a few things along the way. First, and probably the easiest to notice is these first two columns look really, really similar to each other. We are going to see a lot of too close for my comfort shades as we go along, but I think that these first two columns are really the best example of that. And I do want to give you some close-ups just so that you can see the colors and the textures as close up as possible. I also want to mention that I think the brush swatches are better than the finger swatches when it comes to these matte shades, and that seems to be across the board with this palette. I don't actually mind that. I do prefer to have a higher performance with the brush because typically that's how I'm going to be applying to my eye, and especially with mattes. That is going to be my application method of choice. So this is one of those palettes where you don't want to let the finger swatches fool you because the brush performance is a lot better, at least in my experience. Now these last two rows, while they're not too similar to one another, they are very similar amongst themselves. So the mauve column and the gray column both have some shades that I personally just think are 
too close to really sort out. Now you'll get to see these mauve shadows on the eye and honestly the first three are just so so close to each other and then these two middle gray shades are very similar. I mean different undertones but just very similar overall. Next up, I want to show you some comparisons with this palette. This is a pretty basic neutral color scheme, so we could do comparisons for this all day and not exhaust the options. So I do just have a handful of comparisons here for you, and I think this is going to give you a pretty good idea of what other matte neutrals you may already have in your existing ColourPop collection. So let's take a look at a few comparisons now. I could have done about a million comparisons, especially for this first group of swatches, the first two really warm orangey brown columns. And honestly, whatever you're thinking this is similar to, it probably is when we're talking about Tartlet Toasted or Urban Decay Naked Heat or insert warm toned palette here. These are pretty standard shades and I think you can see that even with these just handful of ColourPop comparisons that we all probably have these shades several times over. That's not limited just to this first group of swatches, but I think it's just most especially apparent with those really warm toned colors. Now, when we look at Stone Cold Fox, it's a little bit cooler than the middle section here, but once we get to the last round of swatches, we're going to see a lot more similarities there. I also wanted to compare to Smoke and Roses, the previous most recent mega palette that just came out not too long ago. And while the color story is similar, Smoke and Roses does have a lot more shimmery shades in there. So I think these could work well together. But again, there is going to be a decent amount of overlap. Look at Stone Cold Fox, pretty darn similar, and I think that this comparison serves to show how much more similar the Gone Matte shades are than the ones in Stone Cold Fox. I don't know if that made sense, but this Gone Matte palette is just a lot more repetitive, in my opinion, than the other Mega palettes. And overall, that is going to be my biggest critique with this new Gone Matte palette. Lastly, before we move on to the blotted lip, I want to show you a tutorial using this Gone Matte palette. I was trying to think of a way to make this tutorial really useful for you because this is a matte neutral palette. I don't think most people need a lot of instruction as far as using these kind of shadows go. So I wanted to show you my really easy way to do a smoky eye. I think that smoky eyes can be very intimidating. They can go wrong very quickly. So I'm going to show you how I I use a really, really simple kind of foolproof method to achieve a smoky eye. And then after my tutorial, we'll move on to the blotted lips. I am by no means an expert, but I do want to give you some tips for a smoky eye. Just what I've learned from making many mistakes and giving myself some pretty funky looking raccoon eyes slash got punched in the face type of smoky eye mistakes that I've made in the past. My first tip is to start light. Start with a light shade, especially in the lower lash line area because that's where I would really start to go wrong. But in general, I think it's just a good idea to start with some really light shades and then build up to the deeper shades, sort of blending and layering so that you can keep a nice softness and it doesn't get too harsh and too out of control. In addition to keeping my lower lash line really light, I also like to keep my inner corner area either completely blank like I'm going to do today or keep a really bright color there so that my eye doesn't look too closed off and I don't want that sort of ring around the eye look that I have mistakenly made many times. This will keep some brightness and some openness to the eye look and I think that really helps to make this look intentional and not just like I slapped on too much dark shadow. And really the last bit of advice I have is just to practice 
try it out. Don't be intimidated. Don't give up if you do a really funky raccoon eye. I have done that many times. And the more I practiced and incorporated these little tips and tricks, the better and more comfortable I got with this type of look. So I just encourage you to give it a shot and leaving it all matte is a great way to start too because it's really easy to blend and layer those shadows and I'm happy with the way this turned out. So I hope that is helpful for you. Now let's move on to a highly anticipated product. People have been asking for the Blotted Lip Formula back for years and years and years. The originals launched back in 2017, I believe, 2016, 2017. It's been many years in the making, but the Blotted Lips are back. These are available in eight shades and they're priced at seven US dollars a piece. According to the ColourPop site, this is a new and improved blotted lip formula, leaves a creamy sheer payout on the first swipe and can build up to a medium coverage. Agree. Delivers casual color and a blurred focus matte finish. We swear you'll love no blotting necessary. I would say that's pretty accurate. This is definitely a very lightweight product. It does give a soft matte finish, but it's not so matte that it feels dry on my lips. Kind of feels weightless, feels like nothing is there, so I like that. It is infused with ultra moisturizing ingredients like argan butter, cocoa butter, shea butter, and super fruit butter to deliver the smoothest glide ever with a non-drying matte finish. Okay, so that's their rundown on this new and improved formula. A lot of people on my Instagram post were asking to compare this to the old formula. In all honesty, I only remember not really loving it that much. I have no idea where my old blotted lips are, if I even still have them. And if I could find them, I would not apply them to my lips because like I said, they're a good four or five years old. So there's just no way that that's a good idea. I'm sure I reviewed them many moons ago when they launched because I have been reviewing ColourPop stuff forever. Maybe it's just because my preferences have changed so much over the years, but I do remember not really being crazy impressed with the blotted lips and not really getting what all the fuss was about. And I find these to be really comfortable, wearable, very weightless. So I I really like the formula of these. Don't remember loving the previous formula. So maybe it's just due to my preferences changing. Maybe it's due to this new formula. Maybe it's both. Either way, didn't love the old ones. Definitely much prefer the new ones. <laughs> Let's first take a close up look at the packaging on these blotted lips. The outer cartons for all eight shades look exactly the same. They just have these different color coordinating stickers with the shade names on top. But as far as the cardboard box goes, they're all the same color. And then the individual lipsticks themselves are color coordinated. So that will make it easier when you're storing them in a drawer or cup or something to grab the shade that you're looking for. These do have a nice slim profile. It's a long, slim sort of bullet style. Instead of a sticker on the bottom, the shade names are printed on the side. And my experience is that these do rub off. So just be aware of that. These do twist up and back down. So it's not the clicky style lipstick that won't retract back in. Overall, cute, easy, kind of basic, but cute packaging. Now I want to show you lip swatches of all eight shades. I am going to build these up a little bit more. I'm not going to do the one swipe little sheer tint of color just because personally that's not how I would wear these and I really want you to be able to see the color on camera. So keep in mind I am going to be building these up quite a bit but you can wear them more sheared out if that's your preference. Will you still be Will 
What if I showed you I could change I really hope you Don't walk away What if I showed you This love could be Before we wrap things up, I do want to show you a swatch with all eight shades side by side on my arm. That way you can see all these colors next to each other and get a feel for the similarities and differences. Some of these shades are pretty similar, so I think it's helpful to see them all laid out together. For me personally, these launches are fine. I think the blotted lip relaunch is more exciting than this all matte mega palette. I do see the all matte palette being useful for somebody like a makeup artist who really needs to be able to grab and go a lot of shades all at once. Or I mean maybe you're just a huge matte lover and this is exactly what you need. You're sick of having sparkly glittery shades in everything. Maybe this is the perfect palette for you. You know performance wise it's fine. Quality wise it's fine. It's just not really enough to get me amped up but you know it might be the right thing for somebody. I do think that the blotted lip re-release is a little bit more exciting. I say this a lot but it's always cool to see new formulas coming out. Kind of new. New and improved formulas. For me, I just think that the lip products are the more exciting part of this launch. But of course, I always love to hear what you think about things too. Make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hello, my, <coughs> ooh, wow. Already off to a rocky start. Cheers. Stay to the, 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 the. wow. <laughs> it's earlier than I usually film, so you're gonna have to forgive me. Uh, uh, uh. I forget what I was gonna do next. Oh boy, I need more coffee. This is way earlier than I usually film, but I am trying so hard to keep up with ColourPop releases, stay on top of some extra videos that I want to do. I have a sponsored project coming up that I'm working on. I have my whole best of series. I have a huge giveaway. I'm just, you know what? And I'm trying to take some time off. So I'm trying to do all of this ahead of time so that I could take some time off for the holidays. It's a lot. I'm fine. Just bring me coffee and I'll be fine. The sweater's so comfy, but I am kind of starting to sweat a little bit. If I took it off, I'd be cold. Of course, the human condition. Okay, my lips are a little dry after swatching all these. Not gonna lie. It's lip mask time. I did it. Look at my little cute little lightning bolts. Of course they're from by Mel Klein. Almost always wearing either her earrings or my earrings from my Etsy shop. It's pretty much all I got going on. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, that wraps it up. Hope this was helpful and I hope that you know that you are cool, special, awesome, smart, funny, and talented and that I love your face and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye! Thank you.